Hello everybody, welcome back to another AI video. In this one, we're in Firefly. I'm gonna show you A, how to use Firefly for free, and more importantly, how to use the new generative fill. This is brand new AI technology from Photoshop that you can now use for free even if you don't have a copy of Photoshop, you can do it right on their website. So here I am, I've got an example just here to show you. Uh, I've got a, an image here and then I put a piece of pizza in this guy's hand and I put a French bulldog in her hand, even though her hands are, her hands are a little bit longer than I'd like. Hopefully she's not a proctologist. Anyways, here we go. So if I go to this account here, or if I go to this tab here, you're gonna see here that I'm logged in, but most importantly, I do not have an account, or I don't have a paid account. So I can upgrade and get going, but this is completely free. So with that out of the way, let me show you how to do this. So I'm gonna go right here. This is the website that you need to go to. I will put a link in the description below, but basically it's adobe.com slash sensei slash generative AI slash firefly. So there's a lot there. So just click on the link in my description. It's easier. Up at the top here, you'll see firefly, and then you'll want to explore flyer, uh, firefly, but not explore the new Photoshop. Unless, of course, that's what you want to do. Now, with that out of the way, you're now, so we're logged into an account. Again, you will have to create your own account, but you do not have to pay for it. There's a chance you already have an account. If you don't, just follow the, the prompts. Once you're logged in, in your free account, you'll see here that we've got a few options. The one I want to click on is this one here in the middle, Generative Fill. When I do that, you get two options. You can use one of their images, and you can just test it out that way. You can even see examples. They're pretty damn good, not gonna lie. Or you can upload one of your own images like I did. So let's go into my pictures file. I'm gonna grab this image here, gonna drag and drop it and bang, there it is. Now I'm gonna zoom in a little bit and this is it. So this is how you go ahead and access it. So right now it's automatically set to insert. Again, totally free. And I'm gonna go ahead and remove this lady's whole arm. I'm just gonna click on that. And bang, I've gone ahead and basically masked that using an ad mask. I don't want to go too detailed into this, but all, you, all I did was just go ahead and scroll over it there. And now you just type in here in this prompt, what do I want that to be? So I want that to be a, um, I don't know, a hot dog. I'm just going to, well, something simple, right? Like, I mean, I'm not going to go too far down the rabbit hole. I just want to show you how to log in and use it. Um, but this isn't going to be a detailed tutorial on how to use it. It's pretty obvious here. And then bang, okay, she's got a new arm and she's holding a hot dog. Now, I don't really like that one, but you get four choices. So I'm going to click on this one. Eh, maybe not. Eh, that one's not too bad, even though maybe I should have just, yeah, there we go. We've got a double hot dog arm. How good is that, right? So, and if you don't like it, you can always just cancel. For example, if you wanna clear it, I just hit cancel. Now I'm gonna hit clear and her arm is back. So that is really all you have to do. If you wanna get rid of the background, it automatically will select the background. It's gone. If I want them to be on, you know, the background's gone and I want this to be in a forest, that's it. I'll just hit enter and hit generate. Background's gone. We've got a new background coming. Let's see what we get. We got four examples. Or we're gonna get four choices. It takes a few seconds. Keep in mind that this uses the servers that Adobe has. So these are Adobe servers. So it could be a little slow, but holy smokes, look at that. They're now in a forest. I like that one, maybe that one. That one's pretty good. That's it. You can go ahead and just mess with it like that. Thanks for watching. I got a ton more stuff coming up. Stay tuned.